don't wanna be a player. I'm not a player. I'm not a player. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this rich orangey eye with this peachy browny toned lip. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and let's just get started. So I already did my eyebrows and primed my eyelids off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my transition color, which is going to be the Color Me Beautiful Eyeshadow from Flory Roberts in the color Plum Brown. And I'm taking this on a Sonia Kashuk 109 fluffy blending brush. And I'm just taking that color all over my eyelid. So now I'm going to go into my Nubian palette by Juvia's. And I'm going to take this Mocha Orange shade and lay that right on top of my transition color. Now I'm going to take my Reveal 2 palette from Coastal Scents and I'm going to take this Dusty Plum color and I'm going to take this plum color and I'm going to use these shades to deepen my crease. The brush that I'm using is from e.l.f. Cosmetics and this is the smudger brush and this is actually getting into my crease really really well. And then I'm going to blend my crease color out with this Sonia Kashuk brush. I'm not sure of the number but I'll leave it in the description box for you guys. So now I'm taking the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC45 and I'm laying this down on my mobile lid to give my eyeshadow something to stick to. Now I'm going to take this copper shade right here and I'm going to pack this right on top of that concealer I laid down in a downward padding motion. Now to give my crease more of a cut look I'm going to take this eyeshadow from Coastal Scents which is in the color Deep Roast and I'm going to just carve out my crease and then I'm going to add some dimension to the outer corner of my eye and then blend that out. So off camera I went ahead and did my eyeliner and put on my lashes. The lashes that I have on are from Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. So moving on to the face I'm going to start by color correcting my face but I forgot to prime my face beforehand so I'm gonna stop right here and prime my face with this Matchbox oil free foundation primer which minimizes your pores okay so today I'm gonna be color correcting my face with the Mac studio finish concealer in NC 50 and I'm taking it around my mouth under my eyes and on my nose to cover up that dark line that's on my nose okay so for my foundation I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal true match super blendable foundation in Coco C8 and I'm just going to pat this all over my face I do have a foundation routine up on my channel which is very current so I'll link that video down below because I am going to kind of skip over this highlight and contour type of foundation part of the video because I already have a video on it so yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to be highlighting my face with the Black Up Cosmetics foundation in HC11 with a Aesthetica Beauty Blender. So to contour I'm going to take the Black Up Cosmetics contouring stick in 05 and contour the areas that I normally contour. So I don't normally set my contour areas, but I'm going to set my contour today with the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Rich Mahogany or Ebony if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to take my CoverGirl bronzer and bronze the perimeter of my face with a BH Cosmetics blush brush. And then I'm going to highlight my cheekbones with the Black Up Cosmetics Sublime Highlighter in 04. And then I'm going to take Missy Lynn's palette and lay her baked highlighters right on top of the Black Up Cosmetics highlighter. To finish off my eyes, I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line and I'm going to pop on some mascara as well. Now I'm going to go back into my Nubian palette and I'm going to take this pink champagne color and highlight my tear ducts. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild lipstick in the color Mocha Licious and then I'm going to take the NYX soft matte lip cream in Abu Dhabi and put that right on top of it and after all of that I'm going to line my lips with a brown lip liner and this lip liner is just going to bring everything together. To set my face I took the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Setting Spray to make my makeup last all day and this is the finished look you guys. I hope you guys like it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look that I had on in my high bun tutorial video. A lot of you guys wanted to see a makeup tutorial to that look. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a updated slash final review on this DY hair that I got like a month ago. This is the Brazilian deep curly hair and this is a lace frontal wig.